Former cabinet minister Joe Nyaga was today laid to rest at his rural home in Bere South, that's in Embu County. Family, friends and relatives eulogized him as a man who went out of his way with his diplomatic skills to help bring a truce in the 2007-2008 contested general election when he was in the ODM Pentagon. Stephen Leto is in Embu and has more details. <laughs> The ceremony was held close to the Mbere Hills, where the rural home of the late cabinet minister is located. The towering icon from Mbere, former Ligashoka constituency, elogized as a man who not only speaks his mind, but a key public influencer. It is, however, the narration of his last moments in hospital that moved the mourners. An important lesson for every man, uh, which is how to iron a suit. Um, as you can see, I've taught my own sons. Joe never, never felt anybody was lower than the, than the other. Everybody was equal. Joe Nyaga, well built as he was, literally battled COVID-19 complications, but lost the battle with his lungs 97% damaged. With this, it was point of no return for the one-time powerful cabinet minister. I was talking to Professor Nyang Nyongo, and he said, I wish that Saturday I knew before I went to Kisumu, I had forced Joe to go to hospital. Akinyamungu, he may a son, a professor. His younger brother, Norman Nyaga, narrated his brother's last minutes and how he had to be resuscitated three consecutive times from cardiac arrests before a fourth one took Joe's life before his sons landed in Nairobi. I get a call from Nairobi Hospital. I am told he needs a high-flow nasal canal set. And it's only available in Kenyatta Hospital. It was taken to Nairobi Hospital and Joe was using it by 9 o'clock. And for the next three days, it made him survive. Uh, then I get another call from the doctor and he tells me, uh, uh, this man now needs to go to uh, ICU uh, because things are serious. A story of joy as told by friends painted a picture of a man that had ties that bind. God be with you till we meet again. By his counsels help and hold you. In his hands securely fold you. God be with you till we meet again, till we meet again. Mourners were also told of the pivotal role played by the late Joe in softening hearts of his ODM Pentagon members during the contested 2007 general election. And before Kofi Annan, John Kufur came. He was the chairman of African Union. He came to Intercontinental Hotel. And because we were young, we were literally vibrant, and we wanted what is right, not what is to be compromised. And I can tell you, John Kufur re requested for the two of us, myself and Joe, not to attend the meeting, because we were too straight in the discussions. Joe went out of his way to demystify that complex barrier politics. But BBI politics sneaked its way into the burial ceremony as leaders call for a middle ground. Let us build consensus on many issues. Let us walk away from this notion that if you have a different opinion from mine, you become an enemy. Must not be too hard on each other. I think we can always build the necessary consensus that will bring people together. We can always find common ground and we can always agree. His body was laid to rest minutes before 6 p.m. when the sun reflected its rays towards the cultural Mbere Hills. With former cabinet minister Joe Thiga Nyaga dying of COVID-19 related complications, the family members have urged Kenyans to be extra cautious and observe the COVID-19 protocols as issued by the Ministry of Health. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.
मेरे साउथ कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी एम्बू काउंटी